is stupid. Apparently, this is the solution. And I have to type, yes, do as I say, in order to install it. And maybe it will install in the launch now. What is the point of having a... Oh. Merge to the... As much as I enjoy using Linux, the process itself and the way that things are done on Linux is unorthodox to most people. Linux is a few things to be aware of, so I'm going to give a rundown of the most important ones if you're stuck between Windows and Linux and you're considering switching. The first item is definitely the most important and that's software compatibility. Most people want to see if they can get something similar to what they're used to. So in that case, here's some software that you can't use on Linux, and they're open source alternatives if possible for your consideration. If you'd like to look for a game that you you really want to play on Linux, I'd suggest going to ProtonDB.com in order to see if it's compatible. If you want to see if an online game with anti-cheat works on Linux, go to the aptly named AreWeAntiCheatYet.com and search for your game to make sure it's either gold or platinum in the case of ProtonDB, or supported or playable in the case of anti-cheat. Any other software that you run, be it games or not, can run under Wine with relative ease. Obviously, there are always going to be special cases, so you might want to search and see if your software can run on it. And if you'd like a tutorial on how to run games on Linux, there's one on my channel along with a bunch of others for beginners, so feel free to check it out. As much as people don't want to, at some point or another on Linux, you're going to have to use the terminal. On friendlier distros, primarily Linux Mint, you're usually not going to have to use it at all save a few occasions. As a beginner, you're probably wondering if the terminal's difficult, and honestly it's not. I can say with certainty that if you know what you're doing and where you're sourcing your commands from, you're usually going to be following instructions on which commands to run without a lot of resistance as far as terminal proficiency goes. If you have an issue and you put an accurate enough search query as to how to solve it, you're gonna find commands that will solve your problem directly most of the time. You can watch my videos on the terminal if you're curious about basic commands. However, the terminal does not hold your hand and learning it can be a weird difficulty curve, especially for those who aren't accustomed to anything other than menus. As for hardware, Linux is compatible with most hardware as long as it's commonly used, like speakers, most sound cards, most of every GPU to ever exist, and accessories like printers or webcams. You also usually don't have to install any drivers, which is great. However, if you're using hardware that requires special proprietary software such that it cannot function without it, you might not want to use Linux if you're not prepared to try an open source alternative to that software, or if Linux just doesn't support whatever you're using. This may include things like mouse software, keyboard software, and peripherals like the Go XLR. I know this sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised. This is something that needs to be shouted to the high heavens. Linux is not Windows. Linux in all its glory does not work the same as Windows. The file structure and where things are stored are completely different. You're not opening exe files if you're not using Wine, you're running app images or simply Linux executables. You're unzipping tar.gz files and not zip files usually, although you can. You're not going to be using the control panel or settings menu or any pre-configured built-in tool for most finer things. You're going to have to get your hands a bit dirty in the terminal if necessary. Just as Windows has bugs, Linux has bugs too. But the defining factor is that Linux gives you errors and ways to rectify those issues as opposed to Windows' temporary solution of restart the computer. I'm not saying you're going to be encountering a lot of issues on Linux, because you probably won't be. But if you're not a problem solver and you're not willing to read a log or two so you can find out how to stop an issue yourself, you're probably not going to enjoy Linux. Despite all that, Linux is very stable, reliable, easy to understand once you realize how the terminal works, and never feels sloppy. It's a very efficient experience. If you've made the decision to install Linux, I'd suggest you watching my tutorial videos in order to understand how to install and use Linux for yourself. Cheers.